up YouTube? Secondhand Shouty, AKA the POV guy, AKA the grill legend, AKA young Reppy, back with another one of them things, man. And as you can see, I am in a different place today. I am out in the wilderness. I am on a camping trip and I figured what a great opportunity to put a couple of sneakers that I have and one that I actually got just brand new. Why not put it to the test and see how these will perform out in the wild. So I got today, I got the ISPA Reacts and I also have the ISPA Overreacts. I got the ISPA Reacts uh, recently off of Grail. Got a little steel on them. It was actually really beat up. Um, shit, they're beat up now. But I'll uh, insert the, the little clip of me cleaning these up here. And these shoes, again, I got them from a steel. I think I might have paid 40 bucks, but they was like really beat up. And I did an unbagging of these. And I'll probably toss that in here too. It didn't look that good. The shoes look dirty. The guy, the seller on Grill, I mean, he didn't really seem to care too much about cleaning up his sneakers. So I expect these to be cleaned quite a bit. And yeah, the shoelaces are really nice. But the ISPA reacts, man. I, I love the way they look. They're kind of like an unorthodox shoe, obviously. They have this uh, lacing system. That's one of the things that stands out the most, this kind of sideways lacing system that they have and how they kind of go off to this. The birds are loud. I don't know if y'all can hear that. <laughs> but the lacing system goes off to the side here. And um, what I love about this though is that you can actually put the shoe on, like, you know, you cross your legs and you're kind of putting your shoe on. You can kind of use this, this hang tab here to help slide the shoe up. So this makes it a very wearable shoe, a lot more than the regular 87, uh, React 87s. And so I love that about this shoe. A couple of other things I love about the shoe are, uh, well, obviously that is React, so I like the React uh, sole. And I love, like, it's kind of, it looks like this could be a collab shoe. It actually reminds me a lot of like an off-white. It seems deconstructed uh, compared to the other uh, Reacts. It has this in the back. It's kind of a, a little small cushion, but I like that. Um, I like this material it has on the back, this, um, I just want to call it felt, but uh, I don't know if it's suede, I don't know what that really is, but it's soft, right? And so it feels really good on the foot. These shoes are also weather resistant and not weather proof, but they are weather resistant. So I like that. So I like just wearing these. I've been wearing them daily almost just to kind of beat them, beat them up and uh, run around the city in but this week i used them in the country in the wild in the forest and they held up they've been holding up they seem kind of stiff compared to the overreacts and the overreacts now i just got these they just came dropped last week and i hit on nike for them and i figured man these shoes this ispa line they're supposed to be about trekking through the city and they're supposed to be improvised what's it what's the saying i think it's improvise scavenge protect adapt so i wanted to see how bad like how well these shoes adapted my thoughts as far as adaptation with these really i don't know if either of these shoes are really great camping shoes or hiking shoes so i did take the overreacts hiking so my thought right now is the overreacts are very responsive, kind of like a sports car, but like a sports car, you feel every bump. So I feel like I'm feeling every bump, every rock, every stick, everything I step on, I feel it. Um, also, uh, no ankle support, so um, 
you know, just gotta be careful. They do feel really comfortable. But again, like there's a lot of cushion. I can definitely feel the cushion in it, but again, I feel every bump as well. So if they're responsive to for the hiking trip, uh, we did walk probably like six miles. We did all kinds of terrain. We were walking up rocks, tripping over branches. I really beat these shoes up, and they took uh, they took it pretty well. Uh, they they're not all scuffed up or anything that I can tell. They didn't tear apart. Um, I don't feel injured. The hiking trip was yesterday. My feet aren't hurting or anything. Uh, the way I describe this shoe, it's kind of like, it reminds me kind of like a sports car. Like it does some things very well. The way it rebounds and just walking down the street and just the uh, the feel of the shoe is very smooth on a, on a uh, smooth road, right? But a sports car isn't made to go off-road. It'll be mine one day. I'm pretty sure it's a Lambo, dude. Oh, oh, he, he wrecked, oh! Shit. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! And so it did okay, but I could feel every rock. I could feel every stick. I felt everything um, using this overreact. So uh, I felt it all as I um, traverse the trail and then like little ankle rolls and stuff like that I didn't uh, that was kind of happening a bit I got nervous on some of the parts of the trail where it was kind of like a slippery shady type um, path I got nervous with those but you know the shoes made it through I never slipped I slipped and fell I never really slid or anything so actually the shoes did perform well as far as gripping on that uh, trail but other than that it, it I didn't feel quite secure wearing those during that so maybe not such an extreme trail I mean they still worked though so I, I'm not real I can't really say that they did bad or they did poorly because again I'm not aching today I didn't fall you know so I guess they worked and uh, but yeah I really put these things through the paces got them all dirty uh, I did not treat them like a little sister another thing I really noticed about the reacts is and maybe you know maybe I'm crazy but does it not look familiar to you this doesn't remind you, this silhouette doesn't remind you of anything. I mean, just a little bit, right? Does that not kind of look like a Yeezy? It does to me a bit, right? Can you see that? The sole is, is a bit thicker, right? But I mean, that's damn near a Yeezy right there. I see you, Nike. So I, I can see, you know, you see here on the collar, of the shoe it looks kind of like a yeezy um the sole just the shape man i mean it, it kind of resembles a yeezy you can't deny that so i know react versus boost i see you nike i see you let's compare the reacts to the to the overreacts right so i got them both and as you can see the cushion uh is roughly about uh, probably almost double the size of the react on the overreact the cushion's a bit thicker right that is very noticeable these these feel like i said uh, see these kind of feel more like a track car in a sense that is super stiff right they feel great but it's super stiff these are a little more cushiony um so it's not really a track car it's, again it's more like a sports car this is more like a track car and these are more like a sports car so these are a little harder. Uh, the suspension on these are a little harder. This one, the suspension is a little softer and it could take some of the bumps and stuff in the road and it won't hurt. It won't be so effective. It won't jolt you like um, a purpose-driven track car. Now, obviously comfort on these are a lot better than the React. The overreacts comfort is a lot better than the React comfort is what I should have said. Another thing I want to touch on was the branding um, on the IS on each shoe. So on the ISPA React, 
um, it's big and bold, big orange letters, big orange Nike check, um, massive Nike check there. Um, they got a couple of little ones kind of spread about throughout the shoe. There's a one and there's one there. Uh, a lot of branding on the outside here. You got ISPA in this little tape material. Uh, it's a lot of branding. Um, you know what this shoe is. On the overreacts though, I like this because I like a sleeper. I like kind of a sleeper, sleek, nice little, um, doesn't shout what it is. I don't like that. The overreacts, even though it's called overreact, you don't know what kind of shoe it is. It has the one Nike hit there. And then on this little button, pillow tab thing, it says ISPA there, but you could take that off and now it's not even ISPA anymore. You wouldn't even know unless you looked inside of the shoe. So I love that about it though. Um, it also has the cushion on the back, um, like I said, with the uh, Reacts lacing system. Pulls off, that's it. Velcro. Oh, there is a little Nike hit there. So, but it's very quiet. You don't, you don't really know. And I wish there was a way to take this off. I would have took the, take in this little toe tab thing off, and you would never even know what the shoe is. But overall, uh, it was a great weekend. Sat by the campfire, did a bunch of cool adult things, <laughs> and. Uh, it's a good time camping with the sneakers and being able to kind of put these through the paces. I didn't get to do the reacts as much as the overreacts as far as the hiking goes, but again, six miles, crazy, not crazy terrain, but I would say it's about medium um, as far as I'm concerned, as far as hiking goes. The, the overreacts definitely held up. The ISPA reacts held up. These are only two shoes I brought. Um, I did bring the Yeezys just uh, for the video, but I didn't wear those, of course. I would say uh, they both held up. They held up. Did they super perform? Yeah. I mean, I felt comfortable wearing them. The great thing about both shoes is that they both have like this gray midsole, outsole. And so you don't really care about getting them dirty too much. And I like that. I like that makes me feel like I can wear these shoes and beat them the hell up. Other than that, man, uh, I had a script. I had a bunch of things I wanted to do with this video and the script, something didn't work right with it emailing to me. So um, I still got a bunch of cool some shots and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please, if you like the video, hit the like button, hit the notification button, subscribe, comment, all those great things because I need the support. I wanna hear what you guys think about the, everything in, the, in my channel. And again, I just like to thank everybody for checking me out. Peace.